to walk through a little bit on bias, on a little bit of uh, what, what the potential of Panda Project is. And uh, of course, there's a lot of exciting news that comes uh, at the back, you know, where, where our CEO comes on and gives you guys exciting news. That's, that's all he does, you know. He, he comes and he's like, boom, boom, boom. I have this, I have that. What are you guys feeling right now? So, so I'll leave those parts to him. So today I'm going to start talking about what exactly is blockchain infrastructure as a service? Why is today's meeting so important to be biased or towards the end, you're completely stoked and biased as you know, completely 100% biased, right? So blockchain infrastructure as a service, we, we uh, launched not very far back as we launched in 8th and the 9th of December in a World Blockchain Summit in Bangkok, which received one of the most uh, exciting feedback and, and, and uh, one of the most uh, beautiful um, and very rewarding uh, feedback that we got from the people that attended World Blockchain Summit. And it was very new. A lot of people were intrigued by this bias thing. Like, what, is, what exactly is bias? Why do we... Why do we position ourselves as blockchain infrastructure as a service? How is that uh, one of the first projects to do that? Are there really no other projects that are doing that? And, and why do we say that, right? So we, we as a project, we started off in mainnet 1.0 with one Remitron, and, and our goal was to decentralize the live streaming industry, right? But moving forward, we, we realized the potential of our blockchain and what we can offer to a lot of the other projects out there, a lot of these other NFT platforms out there, a lot of these other solutions out there. So projects out there, either they have the blockchain, but they do not have the application, or they do not have their own crypto, or they are crypto-based project or they are just NFT projects where they create a platform for NFTs to be posted or to be sent, to be received. And uh, some of them are a solution, right? Maybe just one solution. They're providing solution like what we did in Mainnet 1.0. We, uh, we are only providing one solution, which is decentralizing the live streaming. But now that we are in Mainnet 2.0, we are looking at our blockchain as an infrastructure. And this infrastructure we're offering to other people as a service. So what exactly the services are? What is possible with this infrastructure that we have built? So these are what is possible now. What used to be only uh, live streaming right now, you can use our infrastructure to decentralize file sharing, file editing, just like Google Docs. Right now, Google Docs, when you when you are typing something on a Google Docs, your teammates can come on board and, and type something as well. They can edit it together. So we're going to decentralize this thing. And, and, and it's, it's something that we are possible. It's possible now with our blockchain. And with our infrastructure, you can also decentralize Internet of Things, artificial intelligence, and as, uh, as well as security. So security, I think uh, in, in the previous weeks, we have given you guys a very solid example of how important security is and how difficult it is to store these files in the security industry. Because uh, just, like, just like having a case, right? There's a limitation of like this expiry to a case. So same goes to files. There's an expiry to how long you're going to store a file because of high infrastructure costs. So that's exactly what blockchain and, and the infrastructure that we offer is going to help these people with these solutions or these projects or these uh, platforms. So it reduces the infrastructure cost because we have four Remitrons in Mainnet 2.0, which does transcoding work, which does live streaming work, which does storing work and, and, uh, and all of these things. So that is what's possible now with our blockchain infrastructure, which we provide as a service. So this is very important to us because we're moving forward from being just one solution to multiple solutions. So what, what, what else can we talk about blockchain infrastructure as a service is that 
to do all of these things, to do file sharing, to do file editing, to do uh, decentralization of artificial, artificial intelligence and decentralizing security industry, what do we need? And we come as a package, right? We come as a package because we have our own blockchain, right? We have our own blockchain, which is called Pando blockchain. And this blockchain is, uh, is completely native. It's something that we built by ourselves. And uh, it is open source on top of that. It is something that people can take and create a subchain, create their own ecosystem that is branched off of us, which I will get into in, in a bit. In a bit, I'll, I'll expand subchain in a bit. And of course, we have our own smart contract, which is possible in Mainnet 2.0. If you are a platform, if you are a software, if you simply just have an idea, you're going to come up with logics, right? Logics to if this happens in my app, this is what's going to be the result of it, right? So this is possible and it's so important for developers to for, for a project to have smart contract. And that is possible with us in Panda blockchain. And of course, that also means that you can create your own NFT, you can create your own NFT platforms where you can send and receive NFTs as well. And the same goes to dApps. I think dApps, you guys are very familiar because we have our own decentralized applications, which is PandaJo, TutorX, Vixo, PandaGo, and, uh, and show us that we have talked about I threw out main at 1.0 and we see it coming alive in 2.0. But the thing about us is all of these things is it doesn't have to be from us. It's it could be something that you already have or you're looking to build or you just have an idea to even start. This is the platform to start because we're offering all of this infrastructure that we we spent years and a lot of money to build and we're sharing it with everybody and we're offering it as a service. So this is really, really, really important to understand in uh, Mainnet 2.0 and understanding what bias means. So when we say we are offering blockchain infrastructure as a service, these are the three main things that we do because of the four Ramatrons that we have created. Of course, in the Mainnet 1.0, we did decentralized streaming. So streaming is, is, is not... Uh, it's not new to us, you know, we've been doing this for a long time, but right now there's other things that are possible and streaming too has, has uh, more capacity, more capabilities, there's more other things that we can do with live streaming because of Remetron Enterprise that focuses on uh, live streaming. And transcoding, you guys know that essentially all Remetrons do this work, but the focus is in light or light S where they focus on doing transcoding job. And we have Pro that focuses on storage. So storage here, uh, another example that I, I've already given regarding security earlier, right? So when we're tapping into all of this, uh, all of these industries and offering them uh, an infrastructure for their services, storage is so important because uh, like, like, uh, like what I said regarding uh, the security industry, when you're when you're keeping so much of files regarding, let's just say it's a dashboard cam or or it's a it's a stores cam, a camera that you put in into a store or a bank or 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 your company that is so important for you to track in case of a crime happening or in case of you wanting to you know track something that has been lost, right? So all of this is so important because you need to store them somewhere in case something happens one day for you to go back and track, track, trace it back or track it back. So storage is so important, which is why we created Rabbitron Pro in our in ecosystem to support these jobs. And we targeted each Rabbitron to do a particular job, but essentially they all do transcoding, relaying data, all of that is done by all the Rabbitrons essentially. So these are the things that are completely new to uh, the blockchain industry when we're saying that we're offering all of this thing as a service, we are essentially the number one project or the only project in this point of time that are doing this or offering this. So that's amazing. That's, that's so important to understand. Plug and play. So whatever that we say, you know, whatever that I have presented earlier, the, the term in the blockchain world is plug and play. Basically, 
whatever that you have, you're going to plug it into whatever that we have built. So we have built the socket, right? The socket with all the electricity behind it that is running it, that is powering it. All you have to do if you have a software or if you have a, if you have a decentralized application or if you have a, a solution or even if you have a great idea, you just have a great idea, right? You can come on board and we, we're going we're gonna to put this terminology, whatever idea, software or, or app that you have built is a socket, right? Uh, it's, a, it's a plug, right? So you're going to put it into our socket and you are going to utilize everything that we have built. You can turn it on and it is crypto powered. It has all the electricity, which is the blockchain and, and everything that you need. It's basically an infrastructure, right? So you can take whatever you have and plug it on to us. And you can check us out. If you're a developer, you can check us out onto GitHub. Everything is open source. You can build on top of us. And that means that, um, you know, that, that means that we are not a project that is looking towards building everything by ourselves. We've already built the basic. And we also are going to continue building applications. We're going to continue building the NFTs. We're going to continue building smart contracts. And we're going to continue upgrading the blockchain. The four important things that makes us bias, right? So we're going to continue doing that. But what we're offering here in plug and play, what does it mean? Is that while we continue to do these things, you can use it too. Right, so we're not gonna keep this to ourselves. Like, oh, we built this; it's all ours. We're not doing that. All right, that's what many of these projects are doing, but we are not doing that. We are going to offer this to everybody. We're gonna share what we have built. We're gonna share what we have uh, learned along uh, across the years of building this blockchain, and and this is only because we're going to make sure that there's a lot of utilization that is taking place. There's a lot of adoption that is taking place. We're going to make sure that developers have a place, uh, uh, another platform that is very much community powered. That's very much uh, empowering for them to build on. So this is the place to build on. And, um, when when we say this, uh, we are we are offering more adoption. We're offering more utilization of the token or the blockchain or the platform that we have built. What is going to happen is it's going to incentivize and it's going to bring uh, it's going to be beneficial for the people that are building, and it's going to be beneficial for the current community in this ecosystem that has made everything possible, right? We have the Ramatrons, we have the Zitatrons, we have the Metatrons that essentially builds the ecosystem, that essentially builds uh, or, or is the reason why our blockchain is functioning, right? Because we have uh, Metatrons and Zitatrons who are a validator, who are a governance node, and also we have Ramatrons who does all of these things uh, like transcoding, storing, and, and uh, live streaming, right? So this is essentially what makes us biased. And, and uh, when we have more utilization in our ecosystem, it is beneficial to the people who come on board and plug their uh, ideas, their, their solutions. And it also beneficial for these people who will get incentivized by, uh, you know, sharing their bandwidth or sharing their resources or, you know, they, they put up servers like enterprises and pro, they have huge responsibility in the ecosystem that they play, uh, you know, every single day and that's that's what's so empowering about us it's so community powered and plug and play allows us to grow as an ecosystem and this is where i'm going to take a little bit of time to explain about subchain right right now we are in mainnet 2.0 right mainnet 2.0 is already great as it sounds because we are we are offering one of the first few project or is actually the the first project to do bias right? That's already great, but we are already moving forward with mainnet 3.0 where subchain is possible. Subchain is like, let's just say you are a project with your own community and you also have your own blockchain or you have your own idea of solution that you want to build. You can take a certain, let's just, let's just say, let's just give a terminology that our Pando blockchain is a highway. So you can build another small highway or you can build another big highway off from this highway, 
which means that you are on our platform and you're bringing out a sub chain for you to build your own project, your own software. You have your own community running. Let's just say a country is running. That sub chain can be a country, a sub chain can be an organization, a sub chain can be a whole community that's running uh, an NFT project. So it could be it could be so many things. So sub chain is something that is so exciting that's going to come on board in mainnet. 3.0 and the works of it is going to happen in 2.0 itself so these are so 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 exciting and uh let's see what's next so all of this is possible when when i say that uh you can do your own decentralized application you can you can uh, build your own nft platform and you can come up with your own logic using our smart contract all of this is possible because we have our own protocol not only because we have our own blockchain, the blockchain runs on a lot of protocols that we built. And just like TRC20, uh, we have our PNC20, right? T PNC20 is a Pando network chain 20 that supports PTX, that supports any other, any other uh, projects that are going to be on top of us. And, and supports their cryptocurrency as well because we get, we get to validate those things. And it is also beneficial for our ecosystem. And PNC2721 uh, is for NFTs. For anybody that has their own NFT platform, they can build off of this protocol and they will be able to utilize this and our community because they are in the ecosystem will be earning through their utilization, through their activities as well. So it's a win-win situation. We, we provide the solution and we allow the community that is empowering them to be incentivized. And we're also allowing anybody to use these protocols instead of creating them from scratch, which is very costly and, and, it, and it is very complicated. Why do you need to do that? We are giving it to you, right? So just build it off of us when we already have uh, the existing community, existing ecosystem, existing blockchain, existing smart contract that we already have built that you can just tap onto, right? So that's what's great about us. We have our blockchain, we have our own protocols as well. And all of these protocols, when we're talking about these tokens, our tokens will be supported in all of these new wallets, which is, which is already having their own huge uh, user base like Atomic Wallet has 3 million users, Wallet Connect has 20 million users, Trust Wallet has 10 million users, and MetaMask, which is already integrated into our Panda Joe, into our Tutorex, it's 21 million users at this point of time. So PTX is, is just what powers the project. The project itself is it's moving towards its own direction to a whole new level. And the PTX simply powers it. What's important is what is this bias bringing to this ecosystem? This PTX plays a role into just powering them, into incentivizing them. Why? Because this is a global project. Uh, how are we supposed to control all of this exchange rate? How are we supposed to control all of these things if, if everything is going to be changed in a matter of seconds, right? Let's just say USD is at this price. And if you would need to change it to India's currency, INR, is at that price. It's just too complicated. So a cryptocurrency helps us to be a global, to, to tap into a global community. So it simply powers what is the existing idea of the project. So bias, I will show you guys after this what is possible with bias. We've been talking about it. We've been, we've been trying to educate people on what bias is for a good amount of weeks. I think our community uh, have a good idea, but for a lot of new people that are coming into these meetings, it's important that I run them through what bias is before uh, today. What's exciting is I'm going to show you guys what's possible with bias, right? So Pando project for the world. So we, we are just uh, very, very blessed. I just have to take this moment to say that we're very, very blessed to have community members that are super supportive, very, uh, it's not just like having great numbers, but then it's people, it's just people, you know, it's not people who are participating actively or it's people that are completely supportive of the project, but we are blessed, one of the most supportive community members. And on top of that, we have 
very, very brilliant and very supportive and very hardworking country partners. And when we talk about buyers, the moment we launched buyers, they have already started their work into bringing in activities, into bringing in utilization, adoption across their countries. And I'm going to share with you, these are the things that are possible with us being a blockchain infrastructure as a service. So I'll start with Thailand, the, the, the land where we launched blockchain mainnet 2.0, right? So Thailand has, has uh, really, really taken this to a whole new level because they have tapped into their government. You know, they have tapped into sports. They have tapped into tourism. They are tapping into so many things, even uh, the universities. So they are building a digital Thailand. And they are, they are looking at Thailand adopting us uh, as a blockchain infrastructure to making Thailand a digital Thailand. And they have uh, come up with a proposal to, to propose NFT program countrywide in every single district. And they are also gonna come up with their own NFT token. They're pitching that to their tourism, uh, the, the Ministry of Tourism. And they are also preparing Go Green Wallet, which I will share with you guys how, how unique and how great this idea is. And uh, I, I, I will show you guys how they are going to implement these things. Hope that it gives you guys an idea of how this bias is being implemented, right? And they are also looking into uh, the tourism very, very deeply. They're taking their culture, they're taking what is uh, like, uh, for example, for example, like uh, when we started K-dramas, right? Remember when K-drama started being very popular and K-pop started being very popular, a lot, a lot of these countries started eating ramen, started saying annyeong haseyo, you know, it cultur culturally, it has a lot of impact. When you're trying to put so, uh, culture out there into the world a lot of people adopt them because they they adore it or they they really like it so same goes to thailand they want to make sure that people adopt their culture people uh, adopt their art they adopt their infrastructure so they are turning all of these things into nfts so they're going to turn like uh their food into nfts they are they are um their film industry into NFTs. They're going to transform uh, all of their short films. They are, uh, you know, if, if you guys realize Thailand has one of the most unique infrastructures as well. If you look at their architecture, it's also very, very different, very unique to themselves. So all of these things, they're actually turning them into NFTs and they're going to put it into an NFT platform uh, that is going to be built by the Tourism, uh, Tourism Authority of Thailand. And they are also looking into uh, streaming. You know, they want they want to do one district, one brand ambassador kind of thing. And it's very interesting what they're doing because they are really adopting and moving forward with this whole digitalization of the world and tapping into metaverse, tapping into everything so that they do not get left behind as a country. And that's just beautiful to watch. And same goes to East and West Malaysia. I think our country partners are just super, super creative into taking bias and putting them in the right places. So East and West Malaysia, they are very heavily focusing in um, recycling, in, in, in making sure that the country is a clean country. They are also collaborating with other countries to come up with these things where, uh, you know, they're trying to do ocean recycling, ocean cleaning, and... Uh, uh, for uh, especially East Malaysia, they're also empowering their Sarawak community with the Ramatrons because they are really a lot of, uh, you know, there's a lot of forests, there's a lot of people in the rural areas, they are always left behind with the technology advancement that is taking place. So, so they are empowering them with Ramatrons, making sure that the kids have enough to, you know, to, to stream, to become a content creator, to, to have accessibility to education, to use Tutor X. So these are amazing what they're doing uh, in East Malaysia. They all, uh, the West Malaysia, they're more of a, they're more of a young minds. You know, they are, they are looking at esports tournament. They are looking at uh, going to every district and coming up with a team to participate in Pandajo tournament coming up. So all of these activities are happening really, really fast, really, really vigorously by the country partners and, and really hats, hats off to what they're doing. And East Malaysia, 
uh, if we have Pando blockchain, we have Pando network, we have Pando community and Pando chain, but they are taking it one notch higher because they are trying to build Pando land in Sarawak. So that's exciting. The moment they do that, I think that will be a blueprint for every other country to build their own Pando land and we will become a nation, I guess. So that's exciting. I, I'm really looking forward to the Pando land. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, like the recycling thing, they're also looking at traceability, traceability of ocean plastic. Regarding this ocean plastic traceability and also Go Green Wallet, I'll give you guys uh, a rough idea because these are more of a, uh, a simple project that I can talk in a presentation. So I'm going to give you guys an example very soon. India, on the other hand, looking towards uh, Tutorex, they're looking at universities to adopt Tutorex, they're looking at government universities, public universities to come on board and uh, customize Tutorex for themselves. Same goes to Thailand as well, they're also doing the same thing. Uh, the government also are looking into utilizing the art, the, the crafts, you know, making sure that India's crafts are turned into NFT, into the blockchain, coming up with their own NFT platforms and esports tournaments. So these are what's ahead of us. And it's, it's really crazy what kind of adoption is happening, how much of utilization is happening, and how much of people are really going to adopt us as buyers. So this is an, a simple example of bias being utilized in Thailand and also in Malaysia. So they are looking into uh, turning, turning their country more digital, but also more clean, cleaning the, the environment, making sure that our environment that we're going to live for centuries, for decades, is going to be clean. And it's, it is passed down to all of our next generations, right? So what they're coming up is they're going to come up with their own decentralized app where people can download and register online. They can collect trash wherever they see them. They have to take a picture of it and identify this trash, whether it is a plastic, whether it is a paper, whether it is recyclable, whether it is non-recyclable. And what, it ha what happens when they take a picture is it goes into the blockchain and nobody can delete them. Nobody can uh, lie about where it is being placed. And uh, once the 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 particular trash is identified and approved they earn green tokens so these green tokens can vary whether they can use ptx they can even use or create come up with their own cryptocurrency that will be tied to the ptx so these are what they're looking into this is the simplest example that i can give but they have so much more that they are trying to do they're going to come up with nft platforms they're going to come up with uh, short film festivals they're going to come up with uh, so many things they're going to do incubator programs it's just so exciting what is possible with bias so we've opened and tapped into uh, something that nobody has thought about I think the world is seeing one of first of its kind so we should be very very proud if you guys are pioneers you should be very proud that you made the right decision in this one day when you heard about Panda Project so this is a collaboration between four countries. And this is very, very interesting what the country partners are doing, how they're thinking, how they're taking our technology to a whole new level. So Ramatron Cube is a, a, a collaboration between South Korea, Canada, US, and East Malaysia. So what they are doing is, uh, because of the rules and regulations, um, of certain countries, right? There are some countries that do not take cryptocurrency, do not legalize cryptocurrency. They ban this, they ban that. There's so much of restriction. You cannot talk about cryptocurrency in certain countries. Like in Korea, it is actually, uh, it is actually not right. It is legally not right to talk about cryptocurrency or promote cryptocurrency. And in the US, it's a bit of a sensitive topic because there's just too many cryptocurrency projects out there. And to, to make sure that we do not, as a project, we do not face these problems, what they're doing is they're creating a cube, a very small cube that has Ramatron Light S into it. So if you're a Light S user, you can actually consider cube in the upcoming days. So it supports Ramatron Light S. It is a mini server, actually. And what it does is you do not need to download them into your laptop or into a server. You can carry it. You can see it. The mini server is in your hand right? And it generates cryptocurrency. So we are going to sell it as a package. 
meaning that we are not going to ask you to buy a PTX. It's already staked in and we're going to sell it as a product. So that works for the European countries. So they, they have taken the initiative to look into all of these things and created this cube that will also provide solution through, towards people in the rural areas that probably doesn't have a computer, right? And probably cannot afford to pay for a server every month. So they just buy a one-time thing, a cube, and they need to just run it every single time. And interoperability and adoptability by countries, like I said, it is very much tighter. It is not as easy as we think in Asia Pacific. It is a lot more tighter cryptocurrency laws that requires this cube to be created. And it's, it is just amazing. I need to tell you guys that it is a portable device and it is dedicated to power the ecosystem or the Ramatron Light S, like I said. And uh, once this cube, this is just an example, right? Once this cube has a very good community, they can even have a sub chain of themselves where there's a cube community and they can create, maybe they create their own platform, they create their own decentralized application moving forward, but it is all from the main chain, which is Pando blockchain. So this is really, really interesting. This is what the countries are doing because I think we've spoken a lot about what the project can do, but these are real life scenarios of what the project is doing. So I am so excited to be sharing this with you guys. And I'm really, 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 uh, I'm, I really need to take this moment to thank our country partners that work so hard and, and, and are super creative, very, very, um, empowering they they look towards the same objective as us in Pando Lab, and uh, i think we are all very blessed to have a great community so essentially this is our Pando network now in mainnet 2.0 we have a zitatron node we have metatron node we have now public nodes right all of you guys are aware of public nodes it is uh it is a node that was created to support uh the chain for ramatron nodes previously in mainnet 1.0 the ramatron node did uh, the relaying and transcoding data, but they also did chain support and it took a toll on this Ramatron software where all of the resources went to chain support instead of, uh, you know, doing proof of engagement, doing uh, a lot of activities in the ecosystem. So what we did, we separated them and we created public node where people stake and the chain support goes to public node and public node is listed in the explorer. All right. And Ramatron nodes right now is a lot more lightweight. You get you guys get to earn more with activities. Your POEs, your resources are going to the right places. What is meant to do, right? So now we have four nodes, which is really amazing, guys. Okay, now that we're talking about four nodes, what is happening to our nodes? <laughs> so we are in migration phase. And I would say that we have been really, really migrating very well. We started with just uh, four cycles of uh, Ramatron rewards being uh, delivered to your old Pando wallet. And all of you guys were told to create a new Pando wallet and transfer these uh, reward cycles that were delivered to you. And you guys did that very well. And then after that, uh, we, we told you guys to um, stake into stage one, right? Stage one was Ramatron Lite and Ramatron Mobile. Anybody that's interested in these two uh, Ramatrons could start staking first to the public node. And uh, there was a guides given. I think some of you had a little bit of difficulty, but a lot of things went a lot more smoother than we anticipated. We definitely have a lot of uh, support emails that are coming in and we have been tending to a lot of people as much as we can. But I think you guys are in a very good phase. And then we opened up stage two, which is uh, the more uh, more tricky Ramatrons because these Ramatrons will be uh, controlled or managed by the Pando Lab because of their importance in the ecosystem. So we released them very recently. All the stakings, uh, previous stakings that you guys did were also released to your wallet. Some of you had issues uh, of not receiving them. And then uh, we sorted out a lot of people's uh, issues. We told them what were the, uh, what were the problems. And um, uh, these people also have created their own wallet and transferred to the new wallet and staked. So it is still open right now. At this point of time, you can stake to Ramatron Mobile, Lite, Pro, Enterprise, up to you, 
But right now, Pro and Enterprise has a price fee that comes with it, a booking fee that covers your licensing fee, your first quarter uh, server fee, and also threshold. We provide threshold for people who are uh, staking in this migration phase before the price is increased to a different amount, right? So once migration period is over, once we uh, have a good idea of, okay, a lot of people have already staked, our previous Pioneer community has also already staked, we will start activation period, which will be next year in January or end of January, depending on when we successfully finish our migration phase. So that's when the activation period will start. That's when you guys will see the Ramatron management system uh, going all out. <laughs> So if you guys are interested in Ramatron Pro and Enterprise, there's a form that you need to fill and there's a booking fee that you need to fill as well uh, in order to be an official Ramatron Pro and Enterprise. If you do not pay the booking fee, I think the details will be explained by our chief very, very shortly. Uh, for mobile and light, soon enough, you guys will also have a booking fee. So while it's still free, please start staking, okay? All right, so now let's move on. If you guys have missed our previous meetings, it's okay. Just go to our Discord channel or our Telegram group or simply just tap into our website, https at uh, .pandaproject.org for you to look at all of our guides of how to migrate, how to, how to start or create a new wallet or how to stick into my favorite Ramatron. So all of these things is possible. And you just need to go to our social media or, or our uh, platforms to get these guides. All right. So this is where the important news comes. I hope you guys are pumped up right now because there's a lot of important things I really need you guys to focus because a lot of things are being revealed today. And I will do a little recap at the end. Today, I'm going to pass it back to our favorite CEO who comes with bombs to drop every single time he's here so i i am going to pass it to you boss i think everybody is waiting for the bombs to be dropped <laughs> all right manju first thing a plot for you great job amazing thank you and Bob. i want and i and i want to actually thank you manju you just finished the meeting with the uh, international media and you jumped yep. in and did a wonderful presentation thank you thank i you think too. uh with what's happening in the international media, we are going to become very, very popular worldwide soon. Yeah. Especially, especially Asia Pacific. Thanks, Manju. Keep up the great job. Amazing, amazing what you all are doing. Keep it up. All right. Uh, to all our country partner, Metatrons, uh, all the Remitron, everybody, all our community at large. Thank you so much for uh, joining us today and uh, for all the support and uh, for staying on and uh, start promoting the project. I think that's the best thing to do. And because number one, this is our project and uh, we need to do everything that we can do to make this project an overwhelming success, right? That's the number one goal. So, and you know, the moment we walk into 2.0, uh, if you look into the uh, our Telegram group, if you look into the WhatsApp group and all the messages that's taking place and a lot of, uh, I think we get thousands, couple of thousands of emails into support, right? I think Discord, not so much. I think uh, it's not very popular with uh, some of our community members. But I think a lot of uh, a lot of communication will be taking place from Discord as well. Uh, but the emails, I think there's a lot of emails and uh, the team is, uh, what do you call, uh, doing their best to reply all those emails that's happening. Okay, but coming back uh, on the mainnet 2.0 and... Uh, Moving forward, I think we are also get, getting straight into mainnet 3.0 after this, right? So I think a lot of uh, a lot of changes are taking place, and uh, I think it's very very dynamic, and it's very very good for the project. And uh, we want the token in uh, January February to hit a dollar. All right, there's no no change about that. It's going to hit a dollar or probably more. All right. So there's a lot of work in progress. There's a lot of things that have been done. And uh, we just need the community to set up and support and be very, very positive in every comment that you make everywhere because people are reading you, people are reading us, people are reading our project, people are looking at us. 
So as community members, it's our common uh, duty and support, especially from Metatrons, uh, to support the project, to work with the country partners to make this uh, project, and uh, like I said earlier, an overwhelming success for all. Okay, coming back and uh, looking into the four types of Remitron, right? We know uh, our, we got Remitron that runs on servers, right? Uh, laptops or computers, tablets, phones, all right? This is the, let's talk about the first Remitron that I want to talk to you. But the thing is that the four types of Remitron when it came in, uh, especially when we introduced Mainnet 2.0, it just opens up a lot of possibilities now a lot of adoption and utilization can take place instead of just having the uh, Remitron, uh, Remitron light, that's what we call them now, all right? Imagine uh, the last two years, we were just talking about Remitrons. Now we suddenly realize, wow, even Remitron is so expandable and so much choices and so many uh, uniqueness about each one, each of these Remitron that we have, right? Let's embrace it. Let's look at this, each one of the Remitrons and what's in store for us, right? First one is the Remitron Mobile. I think it's a great uh, thing uh, what the developers have done to come up with the uh, Remitron Mobile to be able to do the kind of work that we expect from a mobile phone, right? Whether you're using Android or whether you're using uh, iOS, all right? Of course, we have Code JJ and a few other people asking us to come up with Huawei. Yes, we are doing the thing, but you know, we got to get a lot of things out of China and uh, uh, that will take a while, but I think we'll probably work on that as well. But looking into Remitron Mobile, I think there's a lot of abundance of potential on Remitron Mobile. Uh, we are looking into the next couple of months to hit about 100 to 200 or 1,000 mobile, Remitron Mobile in the marketplace, all right? And uh, it's actually, Remitron Mobile is very, very easy, you know, because uh, uh, you just have to stake requirement for staking is 250 PTX minimum. You can stake 5,000, 10,000, up to you, but at least 250 minimum, right? And uh, just for staking, I, you know, our PON or proof of network uh, works very differently. The moment you stake, guys, the moment you put 250 PTX, whether whether it's, uh, you're staking for Remitron Mobile or you're staking for Lite or you're staking for any of the other Remitrons types, for just staking, you already enjoy proof of network. Your annual return of 10% or 12% or 15%, which we'll discuss as we proceed later. But right now for mobile is 10%. Just for staking, you are enjoying 10% return annually. And if our Remitron mobile is actively participating in the ecosystem, working, supporting, doing everything that's possible to make this project, all right, everybody uh, and supporting the project all over the place, right? Imagine the mobile is doing this. Then the mobile phone, your Remitron mobile should be able to earn about, averagely about five to $10 monthly, uh, equivalent to PDX token, just the five to 10. I think it's pretty interesting, I, you know, kids, a lot of children have got mobile phone, a lot of, all of us have got mobile phone. Some of us carry two phones, all right? Imagine hooking up all our phones and that's a lot of extra money that we can earn from just what we call uh, engaging our phone into doing some kind of uh, what we call involvement in the ecosystem. That's 5 to $10 monthly, provided that your phone is participating at least about 95% of the time, all right? Uh, there's a little algorithm that'll be running on this, but you must make your phone available 95% of the time. I mean, look at us. We make our phone available for Facebook. We make our phone available for WhatsApp and so many other things. Guys, now make it available for you to earn money for you. All right. Apart from PON or proof of the, what do you call uh, network, proof of engagement is there for you to earn some really solid income. And all you need, your specification for your phone, 4 gig RAM, no storage required. All right. Then, if you, when you introduce your friends and family and everybody that you know of, you get referral reward as well, which is about 5% of the PTX. So for every 250 or 500 PTX they load into their phone, you get a return of 5% in the form of PTX from that. For now, 
booking fee is free, guys. Go and get that hundred thousand, two hundred thousand uh, mobile phone uh, to be hooked on into our Remitron, right? Because after that, what's going to happen is that there's going to be a fee here. The free will disappear, and there's a fee that's coming on, right? And the fee is going to be quite substantial, right? I am not uh, allowed to speak about the fees now. I only can tell you the free will disappear, right? So we still have got some windows to go on the free. Just take your time and do this free thing as much as possible. Uh, especially each one of us must have this mobile thing running, all right? More so for our community members. Next slide, please. Now on Remitron Light. See, Remitron Light runs on your computer or on your laptop, right? Uh, this is exactly how we started before with the light, right? And uh, so it's available for Apple, for Windows, right? Right. Uh, the we started off light at two hundred fifty PTX. Today, light is one thousand PTX. That's four times more compared to how we first started, which is about two hundred fifty PTX. Now it's one thousand PTX, and uh, staking reward now has become annually 10% just for putting our token, 1,000 PTX, into our Remitron Lite. Yearly, we get a PON, a proof of network income, that is paid uh, not at the end of the year. It's paid anytime from the time you started right to the end of the year, a total of 10% is given to you right for your 1,000 PTX. But don't stop at 1,000. Add in more so that you have more chances to participate in the engagement. All right. As proof of engagement, you should be able to take back home averagely based on today's price of 0 0.03 PTX uh, token, I mean USD. You should be able to take about 15 to 30 dollars monthly, all right, from your like proof of engagement. I'm not talking about proof of network. I'm talking about proof of engagement. Provided you keep your computer or your laptop in the ecosystem, supporting the ecosystem 95% of the time, right? And uh, all of you already know the spec, which is two core for your CPU, eight gig RAM uh, for storage, about 256 gigabyte, right? That's all you need. I think most of the computers, most of the laptop fulfill. This is a basic requirement. I think some of you will have a bigger core, all right? More SSD storage, all right? And uh, you can introduce more people, more friends, more family members. Uh, some of us uh, are waiting uh, to introduce our family and friends. Now is the best time, all right? Go out there and introduce because there's going to be a booking fee for Remitron Light, right? It's going to be much more. I can tell you this, if Remitron uh, Mobile is $1, for example, booking fee, this will be about $10, right? 10 times more. So go and grab as many Remitron Lite, introduce all your family and friends to get their Remitron Lite. And whenever you introduce them, you get 5% reward as well for all the amount of PTX that they are staking. I've, I've had a few meetings recently and they were asking, how much can I stake in Remitron? Should I stop at 1,000? I see you can stake as many multiple of 1,000, all right? So if you got 10,000, yeah, stake 10,000 into Remitron Lite. Enjoy as much of, uh, uh, what do you call it? The more stake you have in your Remitron uh, Lite or mobile, right? The more chances for you to participate in the uh, in the ecosystem, right? And, and, and provide the resources. I think there's more chances for you to earn bigger money than what you see here. This is minimum US $15 to $30, all right? Next slide. Now, this is for Remitron Lite that's running on the server, right? Of course, server means there's a little cost to you because you have to pay server rental. Uh, Pendle Server is doing a great job. We had a good meeting with them, uh, telling them to support all our people, all our community members who are running the servers with uh, Pendle Server. We told them to see how much further they can reduce, how exactly they can support them, how to keep the uh, servers running all the time. We do not want our servers uh, that we engage with other third-party vendors to abuse our people, take advantage and put all the light, uh, Remitron light 
into one server, all right? And everybody shares a little bit. This one using today, this one using uh, after three hours, this one have the resources after five hours. I think that's not right, all right? That really messed up our system earlier. We do not want this. We want our vendors right now, we endorse Pando server. Uh, very soon, uh, I think marketing will come out uh, with a message with a, I would call absolute, I, I would think, I think they'll come up with a notice that only server vendors that is recommended or approved after the ven uh, server vendors have submitted their, how exactly they're doing it to, to what you call Pendolab. Once they are approved, those servers are the only one that's going to be recognized. Not any server or anybody can simply uh, take advantage of our system and, uh, and mess up the whole thing like what they did during the 1.0. I think there will be some changes that will take place, but not immediately. Right now, we want to focus in making sure 2.0 runs smoothly and we are ready for 3.0. I mean, we are ready to uh, embrace $1 to $2 or more. All right. We want to take this project to new heights. We want all our community who have been with us all this while to rejoice. All right. That's the, that's the goal. Right. So when you talk about Remitron Light, we are talking about 1000 PTX. All right, and uh, we're talking about 10% uh, your annual staking returns, right? But you get about 25 to $50 monthly minimum, right? On in uh, PTX, equivalent to US dollar 25 to 50 monthly. Provided we know Pando server will keep this on all the time, but any other outside server vendor they should keep it on for at least 95% of the time. Or not, you are going to, may not enjoy maximum on this, right? If the servers are not running according to the what the requirements are. So specs are 4 core, 8 gig RAM, you all know, and uh, 256 gigabyte, all right? Any server, but we recommend uh, heavily, not because uh, we have got any dealing with Pando server and all that, but they have been supporting us very heavily. They've been always uh, good to us. And uh, there's a few servers that we have already, uh, uh, what do you call, how do you say? Um, a few server providers that uh, we are totally very, very unhappy for the mess they have created. And we will be taking them off. We have no choice. We have to protect the ecosystem, not any server vendor or providers, right? So, of course, you can go ahead and recommend as many people to come out with the Remitron Lite if they do not want to write on the computer or the laptop, uh, they can use cloud servers, all right? And uh, you can refer as many people as you want. Don't keep your stake just on 1,000, go and stake as much as you can, right? And uh, for everybody that you refer, you enjoy 5% uh, referral reward in the form of PTX is given to you. Then now comes the, uh, this, the Remitron Lite uh, with server, Remitron Lite on computer, Right, and then mobile. So all these three things, I think basically most of us can easily do this, right? And like we said earlier, to get, to make sure our ecosystem is strong, reliable, all right? I like what Manju always says, unhackable, we have security, we have everything, all right? Fantastic. But we need to do streaming. We need to do all our work. We need to be participating in bias, all right? We need to get our adoption and utilization to the next level, right? We need to get all these uh, remitrons up and running. We need more. You and I need more. This is our project. Let's promote this as much as we can. Next slide, Manjir. Right. Uh, some of you are very uh, excited about the Remitron Pro. We saw, and thank you very much. We have a couple of hundreds of Remitron Pro uh, that actually came in uh, the last couple of days and uh, the numbers are growing. I think Remitron Pro is, is, uh, is very, very exciting for a lot of people. All right. And I'm very, maybe also very, very excited with the Remitron Pro, what it can do and, uh, and uh, the way Remitron Pro has been uh, received in the marketplace. Okay. So, is Remitron Pro, uh, only cloud server, and uh, we have already uh, uh, informed all that Remitron Pro will be managed by Pando Lab. 
we cannot take the risk like what we took the risk with the Remitron light uh, earlier and Metatron especially where every other vendors that came in and uh, messed up a lot of things for us. We cannot afford to mess up. We are going to the, we are going, we want to shoot our cryptos to the moon, right? We want to rock this business. We want to take this business to the next level. We cannot let small-minded people all right, ruin our project. We do not want people who want to just come in, just make a couple of fast dollars and take our project uh, into, a, into a turmoil. We do not want that. We want to protect everything. We want to make sure that the project takes on and flies, takes and flies and, and fly to the heights that we want it to go. All right. So on the Rabbitron Pro, the staking requirement is minimum 10,000 PPX. All right. I would urge each one of us to have at least one Revitron Pro, especially the community that started with us. Right. And your yearly staking reward is 12%, but do not stop at 10,000 PTX. Go put 20, 30, 40, 50,000. Have more chances to participate in the ecosystem, especially for storing. And uh, your minimum POE that you will be earning here will be $80 a month. Right. And Server rental, that is uh, how they say the threshold for you. So you don't need to worry about the, the server rental after this, all right? And uh, your booking fee now, no more free, all right? Earlier, you just have to pay the three months rental, which is uh, $150, all right? That was specifically kept for only our community members. Now it's still very much for the community, which is about $600 right now, the booking fee. And for referral, you get $60 in cash. In USD, $60 in cash you get for referring every uh, Revitron Pro, all right? But I think this price will be changing in the next two, three days, right? On 31st January, the price changes uh, quite drastically. So for now, go ahead. And uh, Revitron Pro, what's going to happen is that the moment we hit a, a particular target, all right? we will stop marketing Remitron Pro for, a, for some time, all right? It's only for a specific period of time that we need the Remitron Pro, all right? After that, we will stall the sales for Remitron Pro and open it up much, much later at a different uh, booking fee and uh, licensing fee and all sorts of things, okay? So guys, my dear bosses, $600, go for it, all right? Get it. Take your token, all right? Stick in uh, mobile, stick in uh, light, stick in pro, all right? I think we have just by putting our tokens, activating these three nodes, we are already having a sizable income. And the income is going to grow. And the income is going to become so handsome for all of us here, okay? We're not talking about PTX escalating. That's totally a different, uh, I would say, a different opportunity for all of us, right? Massive, massive, massive growth is going to happen with that. So for now, we promote as much uh, pro and uh, every person that you introduce, irrespective of which country they're coming from, uh, right? For every successful introduction for pro, you get 60 USD, right? Do that as well, okay? So I need for now about uh, if I'm not mistaken, marketing is looking about 1,005 or 2,005. I'm not too sure about the figure, but I think it should be about there. That's it. After that, they'll close it. And then the price is going to go crazy. Uh, from, 31st, from 1st January onwards, the price is going to go crazy for Remitron Pro. We've got a little time, guys. Go for it. First. Okay. Next slide, Manju. Thank you. And... Ah, the enterprise, now there's a lot of usage for enterprise already. A lot of people are looking into this. I, we were talking to the developers team today. I think there's one or two, uh, what do you call, uh, streaming that we will be doing with the Remitron Enterprise. Probably one of the major streaming that we're going to do is the Panajo, all right? I think it's up to next month. But we are also trying to engage with one or two countries out there to do some, uh, what do you call, some streaming. I think Thailand is already, uh, already, Right there, want to do streaming uh, on a on a so Remitron Enterprise is 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 the way forward. I think uh, we also had a meeting with National Telecom in Thailand is, uh, earlier. All right, so there's a lot of streaming uh, work that's going to come in, and uh, this is going to go crazy. 
I remember uh, some time ago, uh, just this simple steaming that they did uh, by another company, do not need to mention names, but they did that with an exchanger, they had a competition. The token went flying from 40 cents to $14. One just one streaming, that silent. 40 cents to $14 is a lot of money, guy. Remitron Enterprise is much more powerful than what the other company did and how they did it. I think we have uh, we have very much a complete ecosystem here, right? We are just not on uh, tokenomics, on, uh, on supply and demand, price low or price high. No, 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 no. I think we are on to adoption, utilization, and the whole works of blockchain. Right, and with bias now, I think uh, we are just not complete. I think we offer, uh, like what Manju said earlier, our chief marketing officer. Uh, she said very brilliantly, "We will be the first to do this globally." Right, and that's why she had a massive meeting with the uh, with the international media today, and uh, exactly how to position this and brand this across. Of course, they want to have a lot of interviews with us, but you know, we really do not have the time for that. We just say, this is the facts, go ahead, put it out there. So there's going to be massive write-ups and all that coming in. Public is going to come in very, very heavily. I hope not too many whales, but that's exactly what's going to happen, right? So we need to, we need to be the first mover. We need to take the ground floor opportunity. We need to be the first one to go for all this. So go for as much Remitron Enterprise, right? Uh, the the Remitron Enterprise right now will be managed by Pendolab. Okay, the staking requirement, minimum staking requirement is thirty five thousand, but you can stake double seventy thousand, or you can stake ten times more three hundred fifty thousand PTX up to you. All right, because PTX is only in your hands. All right, and yearly staking reward you get uh, on proof of network, which is about fifteen percent, which is fantastic. Right, and uh, for proof of engagement of for some of the work that the enterprise is going to do, which is streaming, minimum income we should be getting with a price of PDX is zero point zero three, should be about two hundred and fifty dollars monthly. But I reckon that is a, a played down figure by uh, marketing. I think, right, the figure will be much much bigger than this, okay? And uh, the other thing is that uh, because it's managed by Pandolab, the servers and everything, uh, because we have uh, we have collaboration, collaborative uh, arrangements with uh, uh, and media with uh, Alibaba and a few other server companies that's doing this, our servers are going to be positioned all over the uh, markets where we need it to be, all right? It's not going to be kept in one place. It's going to be kept in many, many places so that we can do globally streaming. So Remitron Enterprise and Remitron Pro has got a specific uh, activity that, that is totally unbelievable. I think it's great the way uh, our uh, boss Logan and the team has uh, came up and uh, structured this whole thing in a way where we can become a giant in streaming. Right? That's exactly how it's going to be. Okay. So for you, go out there and introduce as many friends, family, to have this golden opportunity to own a Remitron enterprise. And when you do that, of course, you get a referral reward of $75. That's okay. Take the money. It's all right. It's only $75. But go out there and promote it. It's our job to go out there and introduce all these products out there. And right now, booking fee for Remitron enterprise is $1,500. That's only to the 2nd of January. All right. Second, third of January onwards, I think the price is going to be five thousand dollars, if I'm not mistaken, the booking fee for Remitron Enterprise. So, my dear bosses, take great advantage of what you have right here. Move it to the next level, right? We are going to rock, and I said we are definitely rocking, right? So, a lot of things is happening, and uh, the notes are only one simple thing, but. These notes are now a very, I would call a, a very prized property for a lot of people. A lot of people want this. A lot of companies are talking to us about this. There's a lot of things that we can do with our notes. Okay. 
Uh, thank you. On you, next slide. Right, the Revitron handbook, guys. I don't know whether you all had a chance to read this, but please, guys, everything that the marketing put out to you, uh, I, I know that it's translated in many, many languages, right? English, Malay, Thai, Tamil, Hindi, not most. Every country has got their own language sometimes. But the thing is that if we do not read, then we have all these questions that's happening in our Remitron uh, group, in our international group, in our uh, Metatron group. I missed it. I did not know. I will ask the questions after this. But, you know, I think we are supposed to be a responsible community. We must know our business. We must know what's happening. We must participate. We must do things, right? There's no more. I mean, uh, we are lucky that uh, in this project, you have uh, uh, regular meetings like this. Regular informations are given to you. Then you are protected and taken care by the management. But in a, in a blockchain environment, this is very unheard heard of, right? But because we, we, we must do this with you until you become much more independent, right? I've asked uh, the team, never mind, we will still be able to take care of them as much as possible, sacrifice, take your time, do this. I know all of you are very, very busy, you have got so much of things to do, so many things are urgent, but you know, going and answering a question, uh, something that we have already explained five times, 10 times, 20 times, uh, could be very difficult, but uh, be patient, do that, because it's our community. We must take care of them. Treat them like kids, treat them like children. All right, treat them like your baby. All right, guide them, help them out. So there's a Remitron handbook, guys. Go and read. Okay, next slide, please. Server rental fee, this is all done up right now. So you know, the Remitron Pro, we are paying minimum $50 per month and we have to pay them three months in advance. Remitron Enterprise is $150. Yeah, a lot of people were laughing at us saying, why are we paying $50 rental per month for that specs? when we can get it for $13 and $15. Guys, we are not sharing anybody's service, guys. All right? This, what we are doing is serious business now. We are talking about serious storage and serious uh, streaming. We want to make sure this project takes, goes to the next level. It's not about cutting costs and saving money. It is about taking ourselves and branding ourselves globally and telling them this is a blockchain company. All right? That is championing bias. That this is a community project. And you can trust our streaming. You can trust our storage, right? Creating a trustless environment, right? Totally very, very different, guys, right? So we are here to rock the world. That's what I said many, many times. And we are going to do this. We're going to take this project to the next level. All those people who have been with us, holding our hands and lifting us up and supporting us and being the wing below our wing are going to benefit at the end of the day, right? Of course, there are a lot of people who love us and, uh, and some good ones who are really haters, but that's okay. Because at the end of the day, we must make sure this project is successful. We must do what is required to take this project to the next level. Next slide, please, Manju. Now, Metatron. There are some Metatrons here. Please pass this message because most of the Metatrons are not here. But Metatrons for global profit sharing, you should be starting to work with the country partner. Metatrons must work with country partner. Whichever country you're from, connect and engage with your country partner. Please, right? You must. Now, we know what we have done is that for pioneers, those people who started with us in the early days, we get them 1,250 PTX to activate their Metatron. And then sometime after we have launched the project, it came up to 3,000 PTX, right? Which is about slightly more than double what the requirement to become a Metatron node holder. Now it is 10,000 PTX to activate your Metatron. So the Metatron node holders, all right? Uh, if you withdraw the stake, if you take out your 1250 or your 3000, you will 
you will lose that opportunity to restake at 1250 or 3000 because now you must restake at 10,000 as one. Number two, you will lose your GPS immediately. All right. You cannot do that. All right. Global profit sharing will not be available the moment you take off your withdrawal. Okay. Uh, today, I think marketing put up an article or a message or a notice announcement to all of you that uh, the, you must upgrade. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, update, not upgrade. There's a difference between upgrade and update. Marketing sends you told, told all Metatron to update their Metatron node. So please update your Metatron nodes to be in line with what's happening in mainnet 2.0. All right. So that's one. Number two is that uh, if you withdraw, there's a process for the withdrawal. Uh, if you look into the pointer down there, all right. First thing is that you, you can withdraw anytime. No more locking period of uh, one year or so forth. There's no more locking period. You can withdraw your token anytime, not only for Metatron, for all nodes of the same. You can withdraw your, your tokens anytime. But there's a process that you need to go through. Number one is that uh, <clears throat> all stake will be withdrawn. withdrawn. Everything, everything, whatever you, that you stake, all will be withdrawn the moment you go for withdrawal, okay? So let me, let me just read this out to you because I think the wordings down there is too small for most of you there. So it can be withdrawn anytime. All stake will be withdrawn when you put, when you click withdraw ETX. So during this period of time, which will take approximately a couple of months, you will not receive any reward generation. Nothing. Because you have withdrawn. The moment you stake, you click withdraw, it takes a period of time where you will not receive PON. I'm oh, sorry, for Metatron, no PON. Now you've got fees, isn't it? But uh, for Remitron and all that, PON, where you will not get, you will not get anything, nothing. No PoE, nothing, right? Because you need to have this processing period where you need to hit 2.4 million block heights to achieve before the token will be given to you. Right, so no more, uh, no more lock-in period. The moment he hit two point four million, imagine if he hits two point four million in one month, fantastic, take it. One week, good for you. But we reckon, basing on today's uh, current, uh, current what do you call uh, uh, block heights, it will take about uh, six months for now. All right, so approximately about six months. I think that's okay. Uh, six months is not too long. Okay, uh, for withdrawal. Because you you earlier the locking period was one year, okay. So and no GPS, right? So we are no longer pioneer the moment we draw this thing. So you will not get global profit sharing, right? Uh, and then uh, if you're a Remitron Pro or Remitron Enterprise who have just got booking fee low, you just got your Remitron Pro and Remitron Enterprise. I got, you got to come back again. And if you want to get your pro and your enterprise, you got to repay the current booking fee. So if the current booking fee, let's say for enterprise is 5,000 and you came in at uh, 1,005, now you got to pay 5,000 if you want to come in. So you'll follow the latest, all right? So that's on the staking withdrawal. Please understand this. If you want to remove your, completely your withdrawal of all your stakes, this is exactly how it goes. The moment you click all your stakes, will come out for withdrawal. Okay? I hope all of you understand this. Okay, next slide, please. So, pioneers. Okay, so let us recap this. Now, for pioneers who started with us, for, especially for Metatron, your minimum stake was 1250 or 3000 PDX. Right? Now, we, we want all the pioneers, all right, to increase your stake to 10,000 or more. Those of you are holding at 1250 or 3,000. Please do not withdraw, guys. You withdraw, you lose your global profit sharing. Please remember that. Right? You withdraw, you remove your opportunity for enjoying global profit sharing, which is 20%, which is a lot of things that is given for the Metatrons. But a lot of Metatron nodes are not running at this point of time. I think there's only about 300 nodes that is actually actively working in the ecosystem. 
So we need to bring in a lot of Metatron to support this thing. But right now, uh, we are not opening the doors for Metatron to join us. All right. Anybody wants to become a Metatron have to connect with marketing and marketing will uh, work that out with you. All right. Mm -hmm. So if possible, please increase it to 10,000. You can be at 1250, no problem. You can be at 3000 PTX in your Metatron, no problem. You can. But uh, for participating in the ecosystem, the more tokens you stake, the better your opportunity to earn more fees. And uh, Manju is going to talk to you about the fee structure because right now we want to tell you this Metatron, especially the pioneers, thank you very, very much, especially for during this migration period. You actually reduced your fees to 0, 0.0 PTX per transaction. All right. Now that is going to change sometime soon, which Manju will announce later. Right. So for newcomers, uh, anybody who wants to become a Metatron, connect with marketing, minimum stake is 10,000 or more, all right? And uh, all these new Metatron holder, apart from staking 10,000 PTX, you got to activate it on cloud server. And we recommend you to use Pando server, all right? Please do not use any other server at this point of time because I don't see them as rock solid, right? I don't see them sincerely be able to uh, support us the way we want them to work with us, right? Most of the server companies are just there to take advantage of your, the rental that they're collecting from you. That's basically what it is all about. So withdrawal process take approximately, just to probably call a recap, six months, all right? Depending on the block height, we must hit block height of 2.4 million blocks, all right? So Metatrons, you know, earn about 5%, through a pool of transaction fees, all right? That's only one. They also have global profit sharing and quarterly incentive will be given by Pando Lab. This quarterly incentive we worked out already recently. We want to support, as we want to come up with a quarterly incentive to support all our pioneers so that they get some extra cash so that they can use it to buy PTX token and top up their, uh, what do you call, uh, 1250 or 3000 to 10,000 and more PTX in their Metatron node. That's the whole idea, All right? A CLI will be provided for anyone uh, that wants to place their Metatron node in their own server. Pando Lab, I, re I repeat, not that we are promoting Pando server, but I strongly recommend Pando server. Not I recommend, but I strongly recommend. So we must mark that word, All right? Because those guys are really, really helped us to maintain that uh, sanity of the ecosystem compared to most of the other server companies out there. I know some of you are upset because I said this, but guys, I need to protect our, our, our ecosystem. I need to protect our, our company. I need to protect our project. I'm not here about making some couple of bucks on uh, server rental. I'm not interested in those things. I'm very particular about our community is protected at all times, that we are able to do the kind of job that we need to do that our project uh, what we call escalate to the next level, right? That our token becomes $1, $2 and more, right? And I want, we want to do something about this and I want the community to participate, especially the Metatron. You are, as a Metatron, you're also country representative. You work with the country part in helping in building the ecosystem in the country. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. So, the server has to be turned on 95% of the time to be eligible for global profit sharing and other incentives. Okay? Tough. But I think it's, it's massive good news for all of us. If you think about it, this is exactly how a project is supposed to be. This is exactly how we all become successful. This is how everything is protected for us. This is how everything is taken care of for us. Then this project, everybody that's looking from outside, wow, this project has got standards. This project will fly. Our coins will go to the moon. All right? These are all very important. Over to you, Manju. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, Chief. This is really important. I think today you came with really, really important news that everybody needed to hear. And I thank you for that. Uh, I suddenly have exciting news now. <laughs> <laughs> so 
uh, all of you guys know that during migration period, uh, we have decided to give lower gas fee because there's a lot of sending tokens because uh, the Ramatrons especially, they are migrating from their old wallets to their new wallets. So we wanted to allow them to have a lower transaction fee. So during migration period, uh, we gave them 0 0.03 PTX per transaction, which will only last up to the 1st of January. Uh, this, is, this would be a great news for the Metatrons because after 1st January, as a New Year's gift from us, Panda Lab to the Metatrons, we are giving 0 0.10 PTX per transaction. I think this has been announced previously. We have already told you guys this will happen, but uh, we decided that uh, from the 1st of January, we will make this transition. So uh, I think it's still it's still way better than mainnet uh, 1.0. I think mainnet 1.0 run per PTX. Right now we're running per transaction, which is great news for anybody that's a community member, anybody new that are coming on board uh, to be part of the Panda project. So this is really, really exciting because this means great news to Metatrons. It is still a great news to a lot of the Ramatrons. So please start staking today. We still have a few more days. If you guys are still thinking about uh, Ramatron Mobile, Light Pro and Enterprise, uh, best advice from me is stake into your mobile, stake into your laptop and pick between Pro or Enterprise. That would be the best bet because you guys carry your phone everywhere. We cannot function as a human being in this era without our handphones, right? So I think 90% of uh, people have a laptop or a computer. So stake it. It's just uh, 250 and 1000 PTX. And if you guys have been in this project, I think that's a very small amount because over the years, over the months, you guys have generated so much of tokens. So stick it into the place that will keep on generating for you guys and pick between pro and enterprise. I would say pro is all, already a very good bet because storage, like I said, there's so much of things going on with this storage, you know, security uh, industry. And we will be having all these traceabilities. Any application that comes with some thing that they're uploading, needs storage, right? That's basically uh, covers up 70% of applications out there. Everybody needs storage. So Pro is definitely a good choice to go for. And please, please do not miss out on this USD 600 because the new price after 31st January will be 2000 USD, which is uh, more than three times the initial price. So for those of you who did it with a free booking fee, and just paid your server, congratulations. And I will be congratulating this USD 600 uh, in a month's time because it's it's still a very good price because we are covering your first quarter uh, server rental. We're giving, we are actually absorbing the cost for your licensing fee. And uh, on top of that, we are giving you threshold. Pro and enterprise has a threshold. That's why it is so important that we manage uh, these servers for you. So anything that happens, it's all completely taken care of by our developers team. Uh, the server company will comply with whatever that we are uh, about to change or upgrade or update. So this really, really does make your life easy. So that's the reason why, that's the reasoning behind us managing the server for these two important notes. So I would also like to recap uh, on uh, all of our stakings. Mobile is 250 PTX, and uh, at this point of time, it's a free booking fee. Light will be 1,000. Same goes to Light S. It's just 1,000 PTX, and uh, no booking fee at this point of time. We never know when the booking fee might come, especially for Light S, because we have Ramatron cubes coming in, and uh, server rental is there, and we, we might need licensing uh, in the upcoming days for all the transcoding job that it does. So please, while it's still free, take your opportunity, grab, grab your opportunities. For pro and enterprise, you have to fill up a form because we need to know who you are. We need to send you an RMS. We need to email you your RMS uh, to start activating your node in the cloud servers. So it's very essential, very important for us to know your details, especially your emails. And uh, 
for those of you who who think that oh my god but if i just go to the wallet right i can just stake without the booking fee <laughs> very smart guys very very smart but but what will happen is because we're blockchain and because proof of stake runs on chain and because we're a community powered and open source uh, project, you will be earning your proof of stakes. It means that if you did not choose to pay the booking fee and you did not choose to pay the booking fee for pro and enterprise, but you went ahead and staked 10,000 for pro or 35,000 for pro, well, uh, good and bad news for you. Good news is you will not burn your token. Your tokens will still be generating you a proof of stake for 12% for pro, 15% for enterprise annually. It still does that, but you won't have a threshold. You won't be earning anything for engagement. You don't have a proof of engagement. You won't be eligible for GPS even if you were a pioneer with the, with the old wallet. Uh, the wallet will not be eligible for GPS. And uh, I think that's a lot to lose. <laughs> I think that is really a lot to lose. And plus, uh, you're not running anything on a server, so you don't have a licensing. So staking 10,000 and 35,000 only to earn POS, it's a waste. It's really a shame because you could do the same in a light. You can stake that much into a light. Put as much as you want for 10%. You can just do that. Or you can stake as much as you want into mobile. It's 10%. And mobile essentially does so many so many lightweight work. Why would you want to waste your token and put it into pro if you're not going to get proof of engagement, which is the real importance and the focus of pro and enterprise, right? So I hope you guys understand that uh, we are a blockchain company and, and, and there are certain things that are on-chain, which means that proof of stake, yes, you will get, but it is a waste because proof of engagement, threshold, all of this, GPS, everything you're missing out on. So don't do that. If you have a lot of tokens to stake and you want to be smart, be smart and put it into a mobile or a light and think about pro and enterprise seriously. Yeah. So same goes to Metatron. Please, like I mentioned previously, Metatrons, you guys have a smooth transition into mainnet 2.0. You basically didn't have to do anything and you still don't have to do anything unless you are at 1250 and you did not restake like we suggested in the previous years. You know, if you did not restake with your earnings, uh, this is the time to restake. We are at a good price. Go buy your PTX, uh, restake, and uh, all these four weeks of earnings that you got, restake them back or get another Ramatron note. You know, make the right decision, be smart. You can even consult us in the group. There's a lot of Great community members that are always giving great advices in the group. And you can also contact our management team or your country partners. All of us here are to help. And we're one of the only or very few projects that actually take care of our community. So feel free to connect with us in Telegram group, social media, DM us, text us, or best of all, be on Discord. Yeah. So start staking your Ramatrons today. Like I mentioned, staking right now is open for all types of nodes. Mobile, uh, light, light ass uh, also goes to pro and enterprise. Just know that uh, the handbook covers it all. So go get your hand onto the handbooks. Even the form, it's clickable. It's a PDF, but it's clickable. The form, you just click there and it will take you to the form. Fill up the form, pay your booking fees, do what the form asks you to do and you will be a proud owner of Ramatron Pro. Same goes to Ramatron Enterprise. All the specification is there. How much is your earning monthly estimation is there and your requirements are there. Our suggestions are there. Everything is in the handbook. So get a hold of that and get a hold of the guide and be part of our Panda project. So as you guys know, right now, public note, uh, there's a bunch of other uh, nodes that have come on board. We have PS World, we have PS Malaysia, Brunei, Panasoft India, PS Nusantara. So what I would like to say is if uh, SSHQ, if you are from Malaysia, stake it to Malaysia or it's up to you. You can even stake it to any other country. But we are just going to say any of this, any of this is something that you can stake into. Just make sure that you're staking into the right type 
If you're an enterprise, take it into the right type. And our best advice, take it to your country or the country nearest to your country of origin. If you're from Singapore, you can take it to Malaysia or, or Indonesia or India, whichever you deem is the nearest to you. And uh, the people that will be supporting you is the country partners from these countries and also HQ. So make your choices, stick to this public note and activation will happen very, very soon. In a blink of an eye, you're already in activation phase. So make sure that you guys do your migration phase correctly and properly uh, join the Zoom meetings every, every week to stay updated. And of course, right now you can purchase in L Bank and in Probit. So we have two exchanges. Uh, Probit is great. We have all the guides out, how to purchase, how to do your KYC. Same goes to L Bank. We also have a guide on how to purchase, how to do your KYC, everything, how to trade. All of these guys can be, be can be got a hole in our website. It's a tutorial, videos, guide, things that you want to read. If you're a reader, look at our guide. If you are somebody who needs to watch and listen to somebody, watch our tutorials. And most importantly, like I mentioned, it's so important to connect with us. If you're going to be our community member, you're going to need to you know hear all of these updates. So follow us in Discord. Uh, it's a place to receive updates and it's also a place to uh, ask for assistance or put in your problems or put in your issues or understand the technology because that's where marketing, developers, everybody uh, regarding this project who work very hard behind are at. So that's where you should be at too. So follow us on Discord. This is uh, our Discord URL. We will be sharing the, the URL in the Telegram group as well. So you can get it from there and we will put it into our social media links. And uh, yeah, that's about it. You just need to follow us and listen to our updates and ask us anything at all. All right. We're a very close knit community. Be a part of it. Right now, this is uh, our headquarters. Our headquarters is in Singapore. We are Pando Lab and our operations office is in Malaysia. Our developers office are in Australia, US, India, Singapore. And we have a whole row of country partners that has already come on board and they are also looking to come on board. We're tapping into the European countries and uh, UAEs and, and uh, there's so much more exciting news to come with more uh, Pando updates that we do. So stay, stay updated, guys. So right now comes the part where, you know, I'm going to take a little bit of uh, time to give you guys more pictures, visuals, and uh, things to see what is really happening with the Panda project. I'm going to start with the recent uh, big bomb that has happened in our project, which is the official launch of Mainnet 2.0 in WBS. I think it was a, a beautiful piece to witness because our handsome and dashing uh, CTO has given a beautiful presentation on blockchain infrastructure as a service. I think that blew so many people's mind because World Blockchain Summit is a place where developers come, is a place where investors come, is a place where all these blockchain projects are at and to be announcing something so new to these people who are very familiar with this field, it's not easy and it is definitely so exciting. So I would really, really like to really, really like to take a moment to say that it was a beautiful moment to witness. And I was so proud to be there to witness it live. And if you guys want to uh, see that or be a part of that whole beautiful moment, you can catch us, catch our live video that is posted in YouTube. And uh, this was what ha happened there. We had a very good support from all of our country partners. I think over here, you can see uh, a lot of media coverage. This is Boss Lala, our CMO in Thailand. This is Boss Shirol, our West Malaysia uh, CP. This is Boss Lechu, uh, he's Sumatra CP. Boss Guard from Thailand, YB Kennedy, who is a pillar to East Malaysia, especially in Sarawak. He does a lot of, a lot of great things to empower the communities there. This is Boss Frank, who's from US and he supports US and Canada. This is Boss Harry from Brunei. So we have even our community members that came on board to fly all the way to Bangkok to witness it live. So it was very exciting. It was 
it was one of the few booths with that amount of people to come and support and people were really impressed with like what is going on here what is panda project man everybody's pumped about it right we're just confused the entire world blockchain summit i think that was so nice to witness and um this was just a few of them many of them were in so many other places talking to so many other people of possibilities or bias oh my god you're doing this project why don't you come on board with this and Country partners are really, really amazing. So we had uh, all of our developers there as well. Beautiful things to witness, guys. And more to come. This is just our beginning. There's so much more to come. Like uh, Chief Nawa said, you know, we I just had a meeting with international press. We are looking into uh, doing very aggressive uh, marketing. You know, a lot of people think like, oh, the market, you know, the crypto market has crashed. It's doing bad. Is this the time? It is the time. It is the best time for you to buy. Whenever it's something goes crashing, I don't think our token especially crashed. We have maintained our token at a certain value for a very long time. And I think that's just beautiful to witness that it is so unaffected, even though people are panicking about it, right? But this is the best time to buy for our community. I look at it in a very positive manner because we're in migration phase. You guys need a lot of token to stake. And you guys have so many notes to pick from. What, what better news than it is affordable for our community, right? So take it in a good light. Be the pioneers. You guys still can be the pioneers. You'll be the pioneers of Mainnet 2.0. All right? <laughs> so let's watch a video on uh, all of the great things that happened in uh, WBS. No sound, mind you. No sound? Give me a second. Right. All right, let's watch it now. Today, I would like to present to you the blockchain infrastructure as a service. And at the same time, I'm going to launch Pendo Mainnet 2.0 today in this event. Year 2018 and uh, you know my my partner who is my ceo came up with this idea of decentralizing the video industry we ourselves have been working with the video applications for many years by the statistics you know in year 2020 reached 327 billion it's a huge big industry what we call is the centralized delivery networks where big companies like google Amazon, you know, Alibaba set up data center to every each point and here is the where you know the, the point of presence who works where your data get delivered, which is we call it Pendo Project. <laughs> I think if this video is exciting, 
you guys need to watch the live presentation in YouTube because that was something else. That was really something else. I think people come there and they and they uh you know they talk about a lot of things. They talk about the potential of blockchain, Web3 dApp. And people are just there to listen. They're like, oh, okay, that's great. Wow, what a look at the potential. That's amazing. And then we come on board and people started clapping. <laughs> people are like, woo! <laughs> Cheering for us as if like <laughs> we revolutionized uh, a great thing. And, and I think that's what we are. We always undermine ourselves. Sometimes we think like, oh, we're just a small project. We're not. We're, like I said, we're the first to do bias. That's why the topic for today is, are you biased? And I think now I need to ask, are you biased enough or do you need more? Because I got a little bit more for you. Just, just a quick review. And uh, this, this is the, the things that I spoke about earlier, what the country partners are doing. Uh, if, you have, if you did not believe me, this is the proof. They are in tourism. Uh, TAT means Tourism Authority of Thailand. And they are really looking into moving towards uh, making Thailand a digital Thailand. So that's why they are TAT digital organization. They have a whole branch for that. So this is our country partner, Boss Gar and Boss Lala, presenting all of the things they had in mind, turn, doing the NFT platform, doing the green wallet, all of the things that they had in mind, they were presenting it to Tourism Thailand and why the tourism itself need to have their own token why they need to have fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens. So these are really, really great. They were having a meeting with the executive board of TAT and they presented uh, the entire project. What is project, first of all? What is Panda project, first of all? And what is bias in Mainnet 2.0 going to offer them as a country? So that's really, really huge and uh, really, really a big, big, big clap to uh, country partner Thailand. And... Um, this is uh, Raja Mangala University of Technology, where they are, they are creating and customizing their own tutorex for their university. We have made the beta version. We have released it to them. And they're very happy with how it's coming along. And this was the meeting that we had the opportunity to meet while we were in Bangkok. So it was really, really nice. They had a very good uh, idea and, and for, the, for the students and also for the teachers. And it's, it's really nice how TutorX is going to empower a lot of the students across the country, especially in rural areas. And this is another university. And uh, the picture here is Boss Nora and Boss Lala uh, with the dean of the university itself. So this meeting was also regarding TutorX and uh, how TutorX is gonna empower the people, the students there and move them towards uh, digital education. So this was another activity that was happening in, uh, in uh, Thailand where Boss Lala brought Panda Joe and Panda Soft Thailand to Miss Wellness of World Thailand. And soon enough, these platforms will have all of these uh, videos and, and, and streamers coming on board into Panda Joe and uh, showing how they can be a Miss Wellness, right? And an entire, uh, entire event can be run on top of uh, Panda Joe. And uh, even before this was happening, even before Panda Joe uh, was already in iOS and all of that, it was only on Android. And even then, Thailand is already adopting this thing. So this is what the country partners are really working hard to bring in the utilization, the adoption, to, to put ourselves out there to make sure that people know about us. Because the more people know about us, the more people are going to be impressed and start clapping and cheering and be with us and uh, take their ideas with us, bring their ideas to grow on top of our platforms. So these are great things that everybody is doing. So if you think that <laughs> Tourism Authority of Thailand is a great news, they tapped into every single ministry there is already, I think. So this is the Sports Authority of uh, Thailand, SAT, and they were looking into esports. Of course, Panaju is the, the main topic of the discussion. And of course, we are also looking into building their own application that can run on top of our blockchain, their own cryptocurrency for uh, sports as well. And uh, their, their, their first event that they will be doing is a collaboration with Clean Thailand and also for Sports Authority that runs an annual event of like 5km runs, 10km runs, marathons. 
And uh, what they're going to do is they're going to make sure all of these participants download a, a green wallet to collect trash whenever they see it across running the marathon or to people who are witnessing the marathon, they see a lot of trash, especially plastic bottles. Whenever you're in a marathon, you know, people drink a lot of water and they throw it out. They collect this and they get green tokens. So these are the things that they're doing. This was with uh, Boss Augustine and also Boss Michelle. We were discussing about what are the other things that East Malaysia can <coughs> do. We had this uh, discussion after me showing them Tutorex and they are looking into supply chain. They are looking at oil farm. They are looking at recycling. They are they are really they have a mind of their own, especially because they are in Sabah Sarawak. They they look into. Uh, their own things what is what is more applicable for people here what's more beneficial for people here because uh if you compare east malaysia and west malaysia very different mindset very different uh like they they focus into agriculture palm oil their industries are very different there and that's what they want to tap into they look after the community that they take responsibility of and that's great this was in thailand as well this was for a gaming industry very different from what we uh, have collaborated, we have collaborated with university, education, sports, tourism, but this was a game, a real game that is being developed and uh, they needed, so they, get, they, they wanted to do so many things. They wanted to do storing, they wanted to come up with uh, a platform that uh, powered by crypto, they wanted to come up with their own crypto that is tied to PTX. So many ideas, brilliant people, and uh, they are called Battle Lab. You can actually look up what they're what they're doing. And we met them in WBS. So they were they came to our booth like, whoa, so many people in your booth. I I need to talk to you guys. <laughs> so this is a very brilliant young minds. And uh, this one is a combination for Boss Frank, Boss uh, Boss Augustine, the US team and also Canada team as well as the East Malaysia team what they did is they want to do this blockchain traceability platform so, uh, so this is this is all just more and more utility what I'm telling you right now is what is on board with us what's on top of our project we've already spoken about the project for a while now but now you guys need to know what's happening what's the activity that is running on top of the project besides what's more possible more possibilities that are coming so that's Panda Project, guys. Technology that will always be powered by you.